Yeah. So today we have another DIY video, but before we get into that, I have a couple of announcements to make. So the first being, I am now officially a Coco Loco representative. So if you haven't heard me talk enough about my best friend's brand, you're gonna hear even more. I will be your go-to if you wanna know about new items dropping, if you wanna see an unboxing, and also if you want some deals, and speaking of deals, if you want 15% off your order, please use my code JRU, J-A-I-R-O-U-X. And I'll have that information down in the description box. So for this video, I'm actually doing a DIY, like I said, and it's going to be these dishes, as well as this X, or this block letter necklace holder storage thing. I don't know what to call it. For me, I have a lot of jewelry and I have even more now that my best friend has an accessories brand. All my jewelry was in this bin. It's labeled paint, but there's not paint in here. So I was like, hmm, I'm broke. So let me just make something. So if you wanna learn how to make your own at home, please continue watching. But if you're not into DIY, please check the description box down below. The first design is inspired by my granny Tink. Her name is Twyla Dawn. She was obsessed with butterflies and today is actually her birthday, December 1st. So it's like one of the dishes that you'll see in the video. So it's dark on top and then it's light on the back. So it has a butterfly on the front like this. And then I have my company on the back, which is 410. Uh, I'll get more into 410 and what I'm going to do with it in another video because there's so much more that I want to do. So, yeah, I think that's it. Is that it? I feel like that's it. I'm trying to say it fast so I can get it out so we get into the video. So let's get into the, the video. The first now. thing we're going to get is this stick that I got from Hobby Lobby. And they're super cheap. And make sure y'all use that 40% off coupon. So you want to make sure that you sand it so the paint will stick better. And I just painted mine white because I have a lot of white decor and things like that. So you can paint whatever color. I measured out how much I thought I would need. And then I used this saw that I got from, well, my mom actually got it from, from Lowe's, I believe. And I have everything linked down below. So it's just a super simple saw. I use it to make my headboard and my PVC pipe backdrop, which is an earlier video. So you just want to cut it out and please, 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 please be careful with this because it is an actual saw. So I just cut a piece out and then I sanded the end and then I went through and I figured I out which I size know. piece that I want. So this piece is about five, four or five inches long and I sanded the end and then painted it as well just so it looks very neat and very clean whenever I attach it to the dish. So next I just got some paint and I'm using some apple and barrel paint and this is a dark gray color. So I believe it's in the color pavement. And when you paint these dishes, these are terracotta dishes, they dry super fast, like within seconds. I was really surprised. So I kind of did a like alternative color scheme. So on one of them, I did a dark top. The other one, I did a light top. And then at the bottom, I did white and dark. Does that make sense? So like light top, dark bottom, dark top, light bottom. So I got some of this gold wire and I wrapped it around the stick just because I do have other things in my room that are gold. So I just added a cute little touch to it. I used some hot glue to secure the ends of it. And then whenever I actually attached it to the dish, I used this Gorilla Glue. And then I went back in with a popsicle stick and just went around the edges because some of the glue came out from underneath. 
Then I just got some Mod Podge. You can use resin or other types of sealers. I just use this regular Schmegler Matte Mod Podge. And I put it all around the dish just to keep the paint from chipping a little bit. And I try to get it as smooth as possible so you won't really see any lines or creases or anything in it. And it dries clear. So like I said, you can put necklaces in it, bracelets, rings. I use, that's why I have a stick on here so I can put rings on it and whatever else you want to use. Your chain, you know, coins, shmoney, all that. I, I get it. So the next DIY I have for necklaces, this is something you can either have like sitting on a table, you could have it hanging up on the wall. The X that I got is from Hobby Lobby and it was actually on clearance. I believe it was like $2.99 or $1.99. So it actually has these holes on the back so you can hang it up, you know, on the wall. Like that. I have this stain from whenever I made my headboard and if y'all want a video on how I made my headboard, Maybe I could, I don't think y'all ever seen it, but I did, I made my own wood headboard. If y'all want a video on that, let me know. I have like old raggedy looking footage, but you know, I'll still post it. Cause you know, what I have now is much better. But I just have this wood stain and I use the colors black cherry and ebony. And first I went in and I sanded the X just so the stain will get in every nook and cranny of this make sure you stir the stain so i just use a popsicle stick and stirred it went in with a paper towel and just brushed it all over so i went in with black cherry first and then i went in ebony and it gave me this really pretty dark reddish color whatever i have a lot of red and dark wood in my room so doing this color combo kind of gave me the bright medium that I needed. Make sure you rub it in really good. And I did sand this beforehand as well. So again, because I have a lot of white decor in my bedroom, I painted the sides white for a nice contrast. And the dark with the light also kind of matches with the rain dishes as well. This little set came with the toolkit that I got from Lowe's and it had these gold nails in it. So I just Magic. used those to match again with my decor in my bedroom. And I used a pencil to just mark where I wanted the nails to go. And you'll see that I actually staggered them because when I hang a necklace on it, I don't want it to fall on top of another one or them get tangled. The whole point of it is to hang them up nice and all that so I don't want them to hang on top of each other so I had a little trouble with the hammer so I ended up using a pair of pliers and holding the nail and then hammering on top of that so it helped hold the nail in place so I don't have to like hit my finger on accident and it keeps it straight as well as keeping a certain length so every nail as you can see has the same length I just finished up with some sanding and let it dry overnight and that's it. So this necklace here, which I'm actually wearing right now, is the snake necklace. So this is on Kokomoko's website and it's only $15. 
and then of course you use a coupon code or catch a sale it's going to be cheaper so we offer pickup for locals and we also offer shipping We also have name necklaces as well. They come in silver, gold, and rose gold. You can also pick different fonts. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you're just doing well in general. We only have one more month, you guys one month of 2020 2021 will be a good year okay guys i'm calling it everything might start a little rough but it's gonna get better you know so i'll see y'all next tuesday Peace. but that's for a different video So including a dish similar to these as well as <gasps> so